has been in existence since 1998 okay and um, it was really a deliberate effort on the part of the owners then to put it in the malls because we're out here in Metro Manila we're kind of um, stuck especially the ones of course here in the city um, the only places where we go to during the weekends and do everything is in the malls and then it was in 2002 that um, Genrex took over Genrex of Hong Kong yeah. Genrex of Hong Kong is under HKRI HKRI is a property development company in Hong Kong and then in 2002 they took over uh, the management the control of Healthway right now we have seven clinics and then one aesthetic clinic which is Clarity Check up business. Basically, we start with that, and that's what is that is what uh, I think we're known for. Um, because right now um, we we do offer a one-stop uh, shop kind of um, access to outpatient services. So whatever you can do in the hospital, except being confined, we can practically do here. Except of course for the more complicated imaging things like CT scan, MRI, or whatever. We don't do that in the mall, okay. of course, right? Here in the Philippines, it's um, a requirement by the government that I, I understand that in other countries it's not but in, the, in here it's a requirement if for example you want to renew your business license you have to show the government that your employees have had their annual physicals and well of course it, it's actually pra uh, optional for executives to have theirs but of course the, the HRs include this also right now um, I think we are among those who have pioneered the um, the executive checkups being done, especially for busy executives, you do it all in the morning, we can finish it all for you, we have the facilities for it. And in the afternoon, you can still have your meetings. So uh, we can do that. So all our clinics have multi-specialty, uh, multi-specialists. But we were the first clinic network that had it. Uh, but um, we're working for, we're exploring onto what other um, um, accreditation we would want to get into whether it's JCI or Malcolm Baldrige and all that because um, we do know that um, of course uh, while we have uh, we, we maintain our standards um, and uh, if, if we are to entice other uh, other clients, clients especially multinationals or or let's say even get into medical tourism um, then uh, we will have to have you know some some standard that they can trust. But here we're very close knit, and if the kind of care that you give, hopefully it didn't come from a dysfunctional family, but yeah. <laughs> well, but the, the the kind of care and love and, and 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 the thing that you get from your Filipino family, you can get from Healthway because we make sure of that. Language does help because you know um, it's kind of strange to be I, I, if if people are comp foreigners I, I mean are comfortable they are understood and that they can converse with their caregivers or their care uh, caregivers um, then you know uh, the perception of being cared for is is easier definitely uh, the real feeders of the clinics are, if you will go with economic levels, A being the highest and E being the ones, I don't know if there's even an F with, with poverty yeah. level at all, we're B upper C. Yeah. So those are the ones that, uh, that really uh, um, make up the bulk of our, of our, um, of client, our clients. There's a, there's a growing awareness and yes, we are targeting you mostly the, the ones, and, and they are the ones gravitating towards our clinics, like middle 20s to about mid 40s. Definitely those that are in the working group, which is what fits our clinics, are middle class. The thing with Filipinos, going back to what I said earlier, is that family is a big deal, right? Yeah. Okay, so the, the first line of attack is for the families. Uh, right. Yeah, right. So, um, like again, for example, we do have, um, just so there's easier access to for them, and because that's one of their top worries, 
not just tuition, not just uh, housing for their families, but the health of their, their families with the, 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 whom they leave behind. So we have uh, things, for example, like our health wallet. It's the first, uh, we're the first to, to offer it. So because we have a network, uh, and they can access it, and we're fairly distributed in Metro Manila, though we do look forward to even putting up other facilities some more. Um, they can have that. Uh, loaded just like you would load your prepaid uh, phone uh, load uh, have that loaded and use that as a debit card in any of our clinics right. so we call it our health wallet so they can buy that uh, for their um, for their families here and it's transferable and they can load it as well. so um, their relatives don't have to really literally carry cash And definitely in terms of healthcare, we're seeing that, um, I guess we've been successful in a way in persuading people to be, um, to be more um, wellness oriented and therefore to keep themselves from being confined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we are just offering basic services. Definitely we want to expand our services further. We see where people gravitate towards the issue. Of course, the, there's still the, the continuing need for good doctors and good staff, that's a given. But there are certain services, for example, that um, definitely we see a lot of growth in, especially minor surgical procedures, for example, um, specialties like diabetes, um, dentistry. Melissa, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think I'm making lots, lots of notes. Oh.